Hey guys, this is Sneed. I'm Chad. And we're coming to you from the Turnbuckle Taverns YouTube page. And we thought we'd come in and talk a little bit about some of the things that happened last night on Dynamite, first and foremost being, I mean, this one's about Brody Lee. Yeah, and before we get into it, uh, you guys go down, smash the subscribe button, turn the alerts on. That way you can get all of the content that we're going to be pumping out in the coming coming weeks yeah absolutely and uh yeah so i mean last night Brody lee ran through cody yeah not only cody i mean he took out the entire nightmare family down to even brandy yeah like yeah, i thought QT, uh qt arn dustin everybody got it yeah, and it was one of those things like when when Brandy threw herself on top of Cody, typically in the past when that's happened, you know, the heels have stepped off. And when that happened, uh, we were watching, and I think I even said, like, where's Anna J? Yeah. And because she wasn't kind of in the forefront, and she steps through the dark order and yep. puts Brandy in a choke. And I thought that that just elevated them as a heel faction. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, I mean, everything that they did was, was heel. I mean, and, and the, the faces got nothing in that segment, nothing, absolutely nothing. No, there was no offense. Uh, they didn't care about Brandy taking up for her, man. They took her out. They drug uh, QT and Dustin out. Uh, they laid out Arn. I yeah, mean, they had no. Arn took a Arn took a gut shot that was looked pretty brutal. Oh yeah, it was good to see, it was interesting seeing Arn get physical because I know he's yeah. he's stated on his podcast that you know his days of getting physical are long over. So to see him get physical was interesting. Yeah, when he, I mean, I don't think we've seen him get any type of physicality since the spine buster that he did. Right, right. At, the last time, and that was a year ago. Yeah, that was an all-out last year. Yep. Um, so where do you see, like, if you were to pick maybe two or three options for Brody and Dark Order moving forward with this TNT title, what, what's some of the things you see that could possibly take place? Well, one, the 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 first one that I see that, I feel like it could be a real possibility. It, I, I think that there's going to be an angle with Colt Cabana. Okay. I think that there's going to, I think Colt, because I mean, where was he last night? Right. You know, he's, of, of course he's not officially joined dark order, but I mean, let's be real. He's been there for everything that they've been doing yeah. and they're, you know, and he's kind of riding the fence too. He right. hasn't fully committed so would you see, like, it, it, do you see him just feuding with the Dark Order, or do you see it more like he, he's going to be directly in conflict with Brody? Directly in contact with Brody. Directly yeah. in a conflict with him. Yep. Because Brody's been – Brody was very vocal at, at first in, in even getting him there, saying, hey, do you want to win? Now he's going to use this and say, hey, look what – this is what you can do. And right. then – Colt doesn't join, it infuriates Mr. Brody Lee. And they I think they're I think they go into a program with each other. Because it and it allows Colt to keep the face. He doesn't have to to have that heel mentality, you know. Right. And a lot of the baby faces in AEW are tied up. Yeah. You know, they're tied up. Um one of the things I saw could be a possibility or maybe it's just me booking my, you know, getting the pencil myself and booking is shoving Scorpio sky back in a true feud for the TNT title. Yeah. Now, now that you have a baby face relinquishing it, you can push Scorpio into that baby face role because SCU has had a lot of history with the Dark Order. Yep. So you, yeah. br you bring that back in. <clears throat> and and a, a thing that could be really interesting is, okay, you, you bring 
Scorpio Sky into this feud with Brody Lee. Little guy trying to get over on this monster. Have him really take it to him, you know, the fighting from underneath, almost getting the title, and then swerve us and and possibly even have Frankie Kazarian turn on SCU. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be they've been showing him watching the tag team matches just kind of by himself. He hasn't right. been with Scorpio. He hasn't been with Christopher Daniels. He's kind of there are they've almost been depicting him as a loner in the last several weeks when they show yep. him in the crowd. Yeah. So then that builds, you know, a Scorpio Frankie feud off of what happens with this, with this. So, yeah. Um, and really elevate Scorpio into that Uber baby face role that I think he's, he's due. He's due to get that big push. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if he does go into this program, I mean, that is 100% what it's going to do. It's going to push him into just 100% Uber white face, white meat, baby face Scorpio. Right. Do you, is there any other options that kind of, came to mind with Brody moving forward the the only other option that I can think of right now and I don't know which way this is going to go I, I but the only other option I think is is Matt Cardona uh, yeah that because Card- Cardona comes last in night? yeah where was he at he comes in to avenge his friend yep yeah and that's you know and i think that's it's just a classic avenger friend feud that that comes in in the play with matt cardona another possibility that popped into my head but this really depends on how all out shakes out Mm -hmm. is hangman yeah like if they drop the titles and they don't go the route that we and everyone else thinks is going to happen, which is going to be, they're going to drop the titles and that's going to lead into a Kenny hangman feud. Now right. that that's what I want to happen. But if that were not to happen, Brody Lee has that pin over hangman. Yeah. You bring in hangman. That's a way for hangman to get a singles title. Yeah. I mean, that's, if it doesn't go the Omega way, that's the way it should go. Yeah. So I mean, there there's a I mean you got Matt Hardy lurking out there that could be a possible once he he squares everything up with Sammy, where does he go? He's he's one of our top baby faces. You have Darby Allen hanging out mm-hmm. uh, tied up in a feud with Ricky Starks. They could always kind of bring him in after all out. Uh I guess the question for me is where do you where's Brody go in as far as all out is concerned? Like who is he going to be defending that belt against at all out? And they don't have a lot of time to build something. So I'm wondering if they're going to go to an immediate rematch with Cody for all out. I I don't think they go. I I don't think they go with an immediate rematch. I honestly think Cody's going to be, I think this is a time for him to go away for just a few, for just a little bit. Yeah. So the injuries sell the injury. And I think, I mean, you're right. They don't have a lot of time to build for all out. So, I mean, at all out, do we see just a dark order versus nightmare family match? That, that could be it too. A big, but I feel like they want to put that title on the line. Um, or is there a stipulation with the title? I mean, in, or, or in do we have, like or that. do we, or do we have the title? And then you throw the remaining members of Dark Order in a Nightmare Family feud. Um, I think out of the options that we've discussed, I think the most, probably the most plausible for All Out would be seeing Matt Cardona come out on the next Dynamite and challenge Brody Lee at All Out. Yeah, that I feel like that. If they're going to go the the Avenger friend way, I think that's the way that the, that it should go. When and I think that's the storyline out of all the possibilities we discussed. That doesn't need 
as much buildup because with the Colt Cabana, I feel like you need a couple weeks to see. Oh, for sure. To see that unfold. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And, and the ones I kind of brought up are they need time. So, yes. so the Cardona one definitely feels like one that could just kind of roll in right off of Cody's defeat. Yeah. And go right. Like issue a ch- Cardona issue the challenge we get that at all out um, yeah. but yeah that uh tell us what you guys think uh go in the comments who do you think brody's going to be lining up for a feud who do you think yeah what's going next to, for him yeah what's next for him talk about it uh again hit that subscribe button yeah stay tuned also for we stay tuned for Tune into the other video because I, I have another theory also, and I'm going to discuss it there. Yeah, yeah, and uh, go go in the bio in the description below. Follow the links, find our podcast, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys.